The Taylor Model 161 is a soft serve counter model with a three door spout. Two individual flavors are available from the end spouts and an equal combination of both is dispensed through the center spout to create a twist effect. It has a 1.5 quart capacity freezing cylinder. The mix flows by gravity from the hopper to the freezing cylinder through a feed tube. Read and become familiar with the operator's manual before operating or performing any maintenance on your machine. Duplicate the procedures where they apply for the second freezing cylinder. We begin our instructions at the point where we enter the store in the morning and find the parts disassembled and laid out to air dry from the previous night's cleaning. These opening procedures will show you how to assemble the parts into the machine sanitize them and prime the machine with fresh mix in preparation to serve your first portion. Assembly. When lubricating the parts, use an approved food grade lubricant, for example, Taylor Lube. To install the beater assembly, slide the small thick O-ring into the groove on the drive shaft of the beater assembly. Apply an even coat of lubricant to the O-ring and the shaft. Do not lubricate the hex end. Insert the beater assembly through the rear shell bearing at the back of the freezing cylinder and engage the hex end firmly into the female socket. When properly seated, the beater will not protrude beyond the front of the freezing cylinder. Place the large O-rings into the grooves on the back of the machine door. Then lubricate the O-rings. Slide the front bearings over the baffle rods so the flanged edge is against the door. Place the white plastic guide bearings into the end of the baffle rods. Do not lubricate the front bearings or the guide bearings. Slide the slotted portion of the hand screws into the slots in the freezer door. With both hands, hold the sides of the freezer door and insert the baffle rods into the center of the beater assemblies. Finger tighten the hand screws equally to ensure that the door is snug. Do not over tighten the screws. The freezer door is in the correct position when the door spouts are on the bottom. Install the valve seal in the grooves on the center draw valve and lubricate the seal. This special seal will prevent mix from one freezing cylinder from traveling into the second freezing cylinder. Slide the two O-rings into the grooves on the remaining draw valves and then lubricate the O-rings. Lubricate the inside of the freezer door spouts from the bottom. Insert the draw valves into the freezer door from the bottom until the slot in the draw valves comes into view. Slide the O-ring onto each pivot pin and lubricate. Slide the tips of the draw handles into the slots of the draw valves and secure the handles with the two pivot pins. Snap the design caps over the bottom of the freezer door spouts. Lay the feed tubes in the bottom of the mix hoppers. Sanitizing. Prepare an approved 100 ppm sanitizing solution. Use warm water and follow the manufacturer's specifications. Pour one gallon of sanitizing solution into the hopper and allow it to flow into the freezing cylinder. While the solution is flowing into the freezing cylinder, brush clean the mix hopper, the mix inlet hole, and the feed tube. Place the power switch into the on position. Press the wash key. This will cause the sanitizing solution in the freezing cylinder to be agitated. Momentarily open the center draw valve to sanitize the center draw spout. Open the remaining draw valves to remove all of the sanitizing solution. When the sanitizer stops flowing from the door spouts, close the draw valves. Then press the wash key to cancel the wash mode. With sanitized hands, stand the feed tube in the corner of the mix hopper.
priming. Prime the machine as close as possible to the time of the first product draw. With a pail beneath the door spouts, open the draw valves. Fill the mix hopper with fresh mix and allow it to flow into the freezing cylinder. When full strength mix is flowing from the door spouts, close the draw valves. When the mix has stopped bubbling down into the freezing cylinder, install the feed tube into the mix inlet hole. Press the auto key. When the unit cycles off, the product will be ready to serve. Replace the mix hopper cover. Install the front drip tray and the splash shield under the freezer door. Slide the drip pans into the holes on the front of the machine. Closing procedures. To disassemble, you'll need the following items. One cleaning pail. Necessary brushes provided with the machine. Cleaner. And single service towels. Draining product from the freezing cylinder. Press the auto key to cancel operation. Press the mix ref key to cancel hopper refrigeration. These operations should be canceled as far ahead of cleaning time as possible. This will allow frozen product to soften for easier cleaning. Remove the hopper cover, the rubber gasket, and the feed tube. Take them to the sink for cleaning. With a sanitized pail beneath the door spots, Press the wash key and open the draw valves. When all the product stops flowing from the door spouts, close the draw valves and press the wash key to cancel the wash mode. If local health codes permit, empty the rerun into a sanitized stainless steel rerun can. Cover the container and place it in the walk-in cooler. Rinsing. Pour one gallon of cool, clean water into the mix hopper. With the brushes provided, scrub the mix hopper and the mix inlet hole. With a pail beneath the door spouts, press the wash key and open the draw valves. Drain all the rinse water from the freezing cylinder. When the rinse water stops flowing from the door spout, close the draw valves and press the wash key to cancel. Repeat this procedure until the rinse water being drawn from the freezing cylinder is clear. Cleaning. Prepare sanitizing solution according to the operator's manual. Pour one gallon of the cleaning solution into the mix hopper and allow it to flow into the freezing cylinder. Use the remaining cleaning solution for the second freezing cylinder. While the solution is flowing into the freezing cylinder, brush clean the mix hopper and the mix inlet hole. Place an empty pail beneath the door spots. Press the wash key. This will cause the cleaning solution in the freezing cylinder to agitate. Open the draw valves. Draw off all the cleaning solution. When the solution stops flowing from the door spots, close the draw valves. Press the wash key to cancel. Disassembly. Make sure the power switch is in the off position. Remove the hand screws and the freezer door. Remove the beater assemblies from the freezing cylinders and take these parts to the sink for cleaning. Remove the front drip tray, the splash shield, and the drip pans and take them to the sink for cleaning. Brush cleaning. Prepare a sink with an approved cleaning solution. Follow the directions on the label as too strong of a solution can cause parts damage while too mild of a solution will not provide adequate cleaning. Make sure all of the brushes provided with the machine are available for brush cleaning and that the water in the sink is deep enough to completely cover all of the parts. Remove the O-rings from the drive shafts of the beater assemblies. From the freezer door, remove design caps, pivot pins, draw handles, and draw valves. Remove all of the O-rings.
Remove the large O-rings, front bearings, and guide bearings from the back of the freezer door. Return to the machine with a small amount of cleaning solution. With the black bristle brush, brush clean the rear shell bearings at the back of the freezing cylinders. Thoroughly brush clean all disassembled parts in the cleaning solution. Make sure all lubricant and mix film is removed. Take particular care to brush clean the draw valve cores in the freezer door. Place all the cleaned parts on a clean dry surface to air dry overnight. Wipe clean all of the exterior surfaces of the machine. By following these procedures, you should enjoy many years of operation of your Taylor Model 161 soft serve machine.